Guys, I was actually in a choir <laughs> in high school, and that was the Mississippi Mass Choir Excellent. How excellent, and that is literally one of my favorite songs. I just wanted to, I want to start featuring some of my favorite worship songs in just the beginning of the video just to give a snippet but hi everyone welcome 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 back to my channel thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing i am deshondria once you subscribe please make sure you hit that bell icon that way you're notified every single time i upload a video let's just get right into the word we're gonna have a moment of prayer and get into matthew 5 verses 1 through 16 okay Father God, I just come to you right now and I just ask that I, Deshandria, decrease so that you may increase. Flow through me. Use me as a willing vessel. Speak through me to give a word of knowledge to your people today, Lord. We know that you have created us to be excellent and how excellent is your name in all the earth. And we love you, Lord. We're so gracious for you. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I just pray for a hedge of protection over me and all of my possessions and over every single viewer and person under the sound of my voice. Thank you, Lord God. We just welcome you here to this moment. To day 17 of 31 days of devotion with Deshandria. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Guys, welcome to day 17. Day 17. We've made, if you hear noise, little people, my children are up trying to get this video out as early as possible. Normally I do it when they're asleep, but I want it to be, you know, get up as soon as possible. So let's just get started. When he saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and after that, he sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying these words. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Whew. Even if it looks like you don't have a lot right now, you do have a lot. You have more than enough. All of your riches are stored up in heaven. And they can become down to earth. If you call them down. And you have to learn that. You have to tap into that. That's a whole nother word. Blessed are those who mourn. For they will be comforted. Comforted. Blessed are the humble. For they will inherit the earth. Don't be prideful and boastful. Because then you inherit the world. You know, your worldly riches and not kingdom riches and we want our kingdom riches blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled you will be filled with the holy spirit fire and anointing will fall fresh on you blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy Give mercy and you will get, you will reap mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Pure in heart. Ask God to cleanse your heart from all bitterness, unforgiveness, anything that's hovering there. You can't fully tap into the Lord and hear his voice and allow him to live inside of you if you're hovering in unforgiveness or bitterness or anything that's just not right blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called sons of god people will know you by your fruit you will be called according to what you possess if you are always in trauma always just in the gossip always watching gossip like i literally do not no longer watch certain um television shows like 
I'm not gonna name drop some television shows, but I don't watch certain television shows. Reality television is a no go for me because it's feeding you drama, it's feeding you um, gossip, it's feeding you slander, and you just don't want those things in your life. I see the videos pop up. I no longer care what what celebrity is doing, and you know, because it's really for ratings, and you have to be mindful what you allow into your soul, into your your conscious mind. Because subliminal messages, you know, they will start controlling your mind. If you see that your life is turning out to look like a reality TV show or a movie that you watched, it's because of the conscious programming that's being programmed into your system. And, um, yeah, it's very important just to watch the things that you allow yourself. That's why I watch your ear gate and your eye gate. I do have... Um, small children I, I monitor the things that they watch they are only allowed to watch certain stuff we don't have cable because of certain reasons like no we don't have Disney Plus I'm sorry um, as much as I do want to take them to go see Frozen I'm kind of iffy on that but that's a whole other topic I'm gonna get into like a whole bunch of different can of worms they watch VeggieTales VeggieTales is their stuff we love VeggieTales I make sure Guard your eyes, your heart, your ears. Make sure you're guarding your ears as well. Don't, man, music. I'm not going to get into that, but this is just a warning. Just guard your heart, guard your mind, guard your soul, okay? Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Man, there's brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world who get persecuted for believing in Jesus Christ. They cannot read a Bible or they'll go to jail or they'll be killed. Like they, there's people that are like that. Not everyone has the freedom to actually enjoy this religion and partake in it. And that's why it's so important to spread the gospel as much as you can because there's people out here that they don't have that freedom. In America, we have that freedom, and it's a blessing. It's definitely a blessing. You are blessed when they insult you and persecute you and falsely say every kind of evil against you because of me. People are going to come against you because of the anointing and because of your religion, because of just them knowing you from your past life or, you know, just even your hometown they're not going to fully welcome your new walk with christ your your friends some of your friends are not going to fully welcome your walk with christ even some of your family members they're not going to fully welcome your walk with christ and they're going to persecute you they're going to say evil things about you and it's okay because guess what they talked about jesus and that's in the bible and the lord this is really in red it's in red okay which means jesus said it Be glad and rejoice, because your word, your reward, is great in heaven. For that is how they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Your heaven, your reward is not here on earth. Yes, we love our earthly things, but the most important thing is my name being written on the book of life your name being written on the book of life and for the lord to say well done my good and faithful servant you don't want to hear depart from me i don't want to hear depart from me i'm making sure that right now i'm getting myself my situation my family in check so that when that time does come those words i will not hear i don't you know no and i don't want other people to hear those words so if I have to get on here and do a daily devotion every day for the whole year of 2020 and God says, yes, go ahead and do that, I'm going to do that. So let's just get our get ourselves together. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt should lose its taste, how can it be made salty? It's no longer good for anything 
but to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. If you think about the salt, salt looks like a grain of sand, right? So, unsalty salt is sand, basically. When you're in the when you're in the kingdom of God, you're the salt. You're the flavor of the earth. You're that you're what the world is a stew and you're the salt. You're adding the taste to it. You're adding that anointing to the world. You're the salt of the earth. But once you stop, you can't you become useless to God. Once you backslide, once you sin, you become useless and tasteless to God. Now you're like a grain of salt. A grain of sand and we know how many grains of sand there is on the beach and you see how useless that is you can't pick up just one you know grain of sand it's... you are the light of the world a city situated on a hill cannot be hidden the light inside of you cannot be hidden you may not see it but it's always been there it's always been there it's always been in me the light your light will shine and it's gonna shine brightly even though you try to hide it you can't hide it because you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb your friends are like hey let's go to the club no I'm gonna go to Bible study I'm gonna I'm gonna go to tribe tonight I'm not gonna go to that um i'm okay or let's go to the bar you know no i think i'll just have a ginger ale i think i'll just have a shirley temple a virgin drink i'm you know i'm gonna just it's okay have a soda <laughs> no one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket but rather on a lamp stand and it gives light for all who are in the house Your whole house will be blessed because of your calling, because of your yes to the Lord. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. That is the word of the Lord. Matthew 5 verses 1 through... Seventeen, sixteen. Lord, I just thank you for this word, for your blessings that are sowed upon us, that we are blessed. Whenever you feel like you're not blessed, just come back to Matthew 5 and read what he says in the beginning, that you are blessed. You are blessed no matter what your circumstance looks like, what your circumstance might have been, because you're going to come out of that. Yes, Lord. You're coming out. You're coming out of the lion's den untouched. You're coming out of the fire untouched. You're coming out of that situation untouched. That is the word of the Lord. Be blessed. Be blessed. He is literally saying, be blessed. That was the whole point. That you are blessed. And if you feel that as though you have backslidden or you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repeat these words after me. Dear Lord, I now realize that I am a sinner and that you died for me. I repent of my sin and ask you to now come into my heart, save me, and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Heaven is having a party. They are up there rejoicing. Your name has been written down in the book of life. All the blessings bestowed upon you from heaven are getting ready to shift and come into fruition. Turn from your wicked ways. Don't fall back into temptation. And as you continue to read Matthew 5, 
he goes and he says a few key verses that I'm going to um, highlight. He says a few of the um, Ten Commandments because we have been point, pointing to the Ten Commandments. You know, he really wants us to focus on those. We're not under the law, but we are under the Ten Commandments. So, the first one was do not murder. That's Matthew 5, verse 21. And then Matthew 5, 27 do not commit adultery. I'm actually going to read that one. You have heard it, that it was said, do not commit adultery. But I tell you, everyone who looks at a woman lustfully has committed adultery with her in his heart. That's why you don't watch certain things. And you don't watch you know you don't um follow people on social media who are always basically naked don't unfollow them quick fast in a hurry you don't want to have lustful thoughts over people see even women if you follow a man who's always naked and always has his shirt off unfollow him because he's selling things that you don't want to present i just talked about the eye gates and the ear gates guys this is very important watch watch every time i see something i'm scrolling on social media i see somebody i'm going to unfollow you if you're naked unfollow i don't care if we've been friends for forever unfollow like no i don't want to see it and that is okay and the next one was you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, don't resist an evildoer. On the contrary, if anyone slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him also. Turn over the leaf. Like, don't turn the other cheek. Don't do evil for evil. Now, don't do evil for evil. But don't wallow and don't be don't um waste your judgment if you see something is not going in the way use discernment block people from your life and having access to you as need be that is the word of the lord love your neighbor Ooh. so you have also heard what it said love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Love your neighbors and love your enemies. Don't hate anyone. Nobody. Don't harbor hate in your life. Love everyone. And he said, pray for them. Pray for your enemies. That was Matthew 5, verses 43 and 44. Do not commit adultery. And that is the word of the Lord. Please always remember, be blessed, be blessed, and be bold. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below your favorite part of the video, what verse fully stuck out to you. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Once you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. That way you're notified every single time I upload a video. Alright? Good night. Be blessed, be blessed, and be bold.